Good morning, students, and welcome to the Nest at CCCS. Today's Bible verse is Isaiah 54:10. For the mountains be shaken and the hills be removed, yet my unfailing love for you will not be shaken, nor my covenant of peace be removed. Says the Lord, who has compassion on you. How to play? Guess the right presents. One right question equals one point. Let's get started. Which president is George Washington? Is it A, B, or C? The correct answer is B. Which president is Donald Trump? Is it A, B, or C? The correct answer is A. Which president is Abraham Lincoln? Is he A, B, or C? The answer is A. Which president is Ronald Reagan? Is he A, B, or C? The answer is B. Which president is Thomas Jefferson? Is he A, B, or C? The answer is C. Thanks for playing! February 25th is International Tongue Twister Day. This is when people get their friends to say sentences that are tricky to pronounce or say clearly, especially when said many times in a row. I went to second grade and asked them a few tongue twisters. Can you guess how many they got right? No. She sells seashells at the seashore. Can you can a can as a canner can can a can? Yeah. She sells she she sells seashells at the seashore. Here are a couple of tongue twisters you can try. How many did you get right? This is our project on the can of big jars. In the mummification process, these jars held the turtle organs. We did our project on the cartouche. A cartouche is a tombstone made for Egyptian tomb. Our project was based on the papyrus plant. Papyrus grows along the banks of the Nile River in Egypt. This is our project all about Egyptian pyramids. Inside the pyramids, they had Pharaoh's body, and they also had food, clothing, furniture, games, and toys. It's pretty cool how they built these. If you want to know more, come and ask us. We did our project on the Rosetta Stone. It was the key to deciphering hieroglyphics, and it was the key to Egyptian language. There is a mystery behind the Rosetta Stone, so if you would like to learn more, come to us. We learned about the mummification process and mummies. Mummification was a way to preserve a dead body. And it was actually really expensive. If you want to learn more, ask me. Asher and I did a project on King Tut. He was a 12th pharaoh of ancient Egypt and the 18th dynasty. Hi, we did a project on the Nile. The Nile flows through Egypt and it is the longest river in the world. Hi, we did our project on hieroglyphics. A hieroglyphic is a character used in a system of pictorial writing. Did you know that February 20th is National Love Your Pet Day? This is a day when we can spend quality time with our pets. Here are some ways you can love your pet. What kind of pet do you have? 
Seven cats and a dog. So I have a dog and a bunny. I have a pug and her name is Mika. I have a dog and I have two dogs actually. One's named Simba and one's named Baba. I have a French bulldog. What ways can you love your pet? One way that I show love to my pet is I hold them. Uh, one way I take care of my dog is I feed her every day. <laughs> I do. I get the food, the water, and I like to walk my dogs. Before I go to bed, I always make his water. So they get water to no matter what pet you have, be sure to love them unconditionally. a citizen has. We have the right to worship God. Audrey, what, who is a part of the judicial branch? Judges. Piper, what is the judicial branch's main job? Decides what the laws mean. David, is the president elected or appointed? Elected. Dagger, are the judges appointed or elected? They're appointed by the president. Mason, what are the three branches of government? That's easy. Judicial, executive, and legislatures. Nate, who is a part of the legislative branch? Congress, Senate, and the House of Representatives. Madeline, are the members of Congress elected or appointed? Elected. Tango, where is the executive branch main job? Carries out the laws. Who is the leader of the executive branch? The president. What is the legislative branch's main job? Writes the laws. 